everyone, this is Rachel Butts with rachelbutts.com and today I am going to show you how to add a custom header into your Thesis WordPress site. I chose this as the first tutorial in my series, Thesis for WordPress 101, because a header can really transform a site in a matter of minutes. So here is a site that I've been working on. Uh, it has a logo, but right now it has no header. Uh, it has a background, it looks pretty nice, but it could really use a picture up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my FTP. I've already had my header graphic made. Well, I made it myself, of course. I'm not going to brag what I did. Okay, so your FTP is your file transfer, and I use FileZilla. So I'm in the root directory. I'm going to go to WP Content, Themes. Lots of themes in this one. Thesis, custom, and I add a folder called images. That way I don't have to do the long string of the path. All I have to do is type in forward slash images. So I'm going to go to my image directory. Okay, I have my header. I'm just going to drag it and drop it into that images folder. One thing you want to make sure of your, while we're in here, your custom CSS functions and layout permissions need to be set to 666. So make sure you do that or your custom CSS file will not be able to edit straight from the thesis dashboard. So I'm going to log into the site. Okay, I've logged in. I'm going to scroll down to thesis options, custom file editor. This is my custom CSS. I've already done some work in here. I've already copied and pasted my code. Excuse me, copy, but now I'm going to paste it in there. So here's my code. Uh, this is already in the WordPress post, so you can copy and paste it yourself. It's my custom header. Background image URL. It's that images folder that I made, and I named it head.png. background repeat. Uh, mine has a little special thing there so I repeated it. The height is 241 and I have a padding of 0 because I like everything to fit right next to one another. So after that I'm just going to save it. Okay and now I'm going to go look at it. Okay here's my header. It is now in my site. It looks really great. Very beautiful. <laughs> so that is how you add a custom header to your thesis WordPress site. We still have a few minutes so I'm going to show you some little techniques that I do to figure out sizing and padding and things like that. I use a Firefox add-on called Measure It. It's right down here. If I click on it and I just drag it across my header area, it's going to tell me exactly what size I need to make it. So if I want to bump it right up next to that white, I would have made it a little shorter there, but I had it extend across. So that's one little tool I use. Another thing, if you get frustrated with the padding around your header, you're going to come back over to your dashboard and you're going to go to Thesis Options. And, sorry, Design Options. You're going to come down to Framework Options. I set mine to Full Width Framework. And then uh, Outer Page Padding, I set to zero. I just like that look. I don't like a lot of padding, but I mean, you could go all the way up to four if you wanted to. Another thing is if your title and tagline are still showing up over your header, you're going to go to Thesis Options, Display Options, header and uncheck these two boxes and that way no no text will appear over the header itself. So that's it. That's how you add a custom header to your thesis WordPress site. I make headers so check me out. I can make those for you and also customize your thesis WordPress site. Thanks and talk to you soon.